Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Wednesday. Uh, it's getting to be crunch time. Uh, too many projects and not enough days left to get them all done, I think. But we're going to try. Uh, I know you're just about sick of seeing this boat. Um, we got to fix our uh, water pickup and we ran down the Anderson RC today on the way home from work. Uh, picked up some aluminum tubing. Um, seems to be pretty much the right size. We just got a pretty simple fix. We just got to drill that and then we'll cut a about a 60 degree angle on that for the pickup. Um, still got to do the power upgrade on the beach car because it will be hitting the sand again in a few days. Uh, if all goes well. And uh, what else we got going on? We got these bead locks. Uh, we're going to take these to work, and we're going to paint these body color. Uh, I've got wheels on the way. And while we were at Anderson today, we did uh, pick up some Class 1 high racks. Uh, I like the small tire stuff because I really don't do crazy rock crawling. It's just trail stuff. Uh, so the new wheels with the new yellow bead locks uh, will be outfitted with some high racks. And... Uh, not sure we're going to take that truck on this trip or not. Uh, mainly boats and sand car and maybe the bug again. Uh, get them both in the same uh, shot. That would be pretty cool, I think. Uh, and then that'll be winding the summer down because uh, that's probably be the last beach video, last sand video. And uh, just bear with us. This Wednesday, there's a lot going on, so I'm not sure what I'm going to get into. Still got to paint that front wheel drive body. I'd love to get that done this week. Uh, works a little crazy. Uh, I'm having to wear several hats this week. Uh, boss man's out of town, so I get to play boss for a couple days. Anyways, uh, hang around. Let's see what we can get done tonight. All right, here's the beginning of several rookie mistakes I made tonight. Uh, first off, I didn't charge my microphones. So the next few hours I was out here working, I have no audio. And then we proceeded to um, break the tip off one of my drivers that I've had forever. I got it a little bit sideways in a pinion gear and uh, knew better, and I broke it off. Uh, we did manage to get the pinion gear off without any issue, but I uh, broke my driver. And then uh, we started to do the power upgrade on the sand car. And when we were doing that... Uh, we wired up three speed controls wrong. So this next clip is me struggling, and then we'll start anew today. All right, guys, uh, off camera, you just missed a lot of cuss words. Uh, I am fighting the speed control and radio issues. Um, I couldn't get, well, number one, the speed passion, uh, it's one of the garbage. Uh, that one is extremely old. I'm not sure why I've hung on to it for so long. I don't want to throw things away, evidently. Um, it would bind, no motor. It had steering, no motor. And I couldn't figure out on the um, program card, it, wouldn't have, it didn't come up with anything. Uh, so we tried the ballistic motor on the hobby wing. Both got hot, didn't work. So I resorted back to the Tekken that we weren't sure, because uh, my buddy that had it was having some radio issues and um, he's not sure if it was the radio or the speed controller that was giving him issues. Uh, well, he did have radio issues, but the speed controller was in that car at the time. Uh, I got it in the car, wired everything, um, for some reason, it don't like the cheap, uh, throwaway radio, so I had to bind it to my Spectrum, and it bound up, and it would calibrate. It never would find neutral, it never would, uh, once you go into the setting modes, it never would find neutral, so you couldn't go beyond throttle, forward, reverse, anything. Now, I'm not even 100% sure if the RS speed control has reversed, and this speed control is quite a few years old also um, but we did get it to work with the spectrum radio got it calibrated 
And unfortunately now what I'm dealing with is um, I only have reverse, full speed reverse. So what I need to do, I need to hopefully my old hot wire will still be recognized. Um, we're gonna call it a night for the night, but I'm going to try to hook the hot wire up and see if I can reverse the rotation. It's not as easy to reverse the rotation on a sensor motor. You can't just swap wires around like you can on a sensorless motor. Uh, you have to go in and, and reprogram the speed control to do so. So, if the hot wire doesn't uh, come up, because so it's out of date also, all this stuff is old. Uh, for some reason, the hot wire doesn't work. Uh, we're just gonna go back to the stock system and maybe put a little throwaway 12 turn uh, brush motor in it. That'll be quite a bit faster than what was in the car to begin with. Uh, although the Tekken looks really good in there, it's a clean setup. Um, well, I got two receivers in there right now because uh, it, wouldn't read, it would not bind with the uh, fly sky for some reason, for whatever reason. Anyway, uh, we're gonna call it a night. I'm tired of messing with this. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow with a fresh outlook and uh, most likely a fresh motor because this is, uh, I'm not sure this hot wire is going to work, but uh, we'll try it first before we give up all hope. Because this sounds really fast backwards and that's not going to do us any good. So uh, we'll catch you back tomorrow and we'll see where we get from there. Good morning guys. Uh, next day, going to take a break from all the electronic issues we were having last night. Um, do a little multitasking this morning. We've done ordered our stock order for the shop, ordered some parts for our wreck. Uh, getting ready to paint this roof. And uh, while we're at it, we're gonna throw in the old bead locks and paint those body color to match my new body. Uh, hopefully tonight goes a little bit better. I think we're gonna revert back to the brush system because uh, for some reason, the Tekken does not want to bind with the fly sky and I don't want to take my better radio i ain't gonna say good radio but i don't want to take my better radio in the sand so um probably want to stop at the hobby shop and we'll pick up uh just a cheap brush dynamite 12 turn or whatever he's got uh it'll be quite a bit faster than that stock torque tune motor and uh we'll go from there but uh, for now we gotta work eight hours so uh let's paint a roof Paint some beadlocks and uh, see what else this awesome day will bring us. We'll check back in a minute. All right, here we uh, put a couple of coats of uh, color down. Uh, we clear coated it with the roof. That's the luxury of being able to paint in the shop and sneak a few things in. Uh, then we ran down to Anderson RC and picked up a few items. We picked up another brush motor. We picked up a new uh, driver and some more Dean's plugs. And look what they got. They had 11 motorcycles in stock. Uh, first come, first serve, and they sold at least one or two while I was there. All right, guys, uh, new day, new me. Um, we were super frustrated last night, as you can tell by that video. Uh, nothing was working, and it was all my fault. It was a major rookie mistake. Uh, when I put this speed control in, you got ABC, and I went ABC on the motor. The motor's opposite direction of the speed control. It's actually ABC from the top down, not the bottom up. So every motor, well, I only got one motor I was testing. Well, I tried the ballistic and it got hot. It don't like running backwards, evidently. Um, three speed controls. And same problem every time. Never dawned on me that I wired the motor backwards. Whatever. Rookie mistake. I was tired of something. Um, anyway, we wired it up. Oh, uh, actually, last night we went as far as putting it on the hot wire and reversing the rotation of the motor so we'd have forward reverse. Because last night I was getting full speed reverse and no forward. And uh, so I went as far as reversing the rotation and adding reverse. The speed control does have reverse, so I remember now. Uh, but when it dawned on me this morning that I wired the motor backwards while I was at work, uh, as soon as I got home, sure enough, it was. And so I went back on the hot wire. Put the motor back in the forward position, like it's supposed to be. And uh, bingo, bingo, look at here. We got forward and we got reverse. Uh, but, with that being said, this radio will not bind to the Tekken speed control. It will not find neutral. 
I've tried every, uh, it's, only got, it's got like three switches. It's got reverse and trim on the throttle. Uh, I've tried reverse servo, turn the knob on the trim every which way. This thing would never find neutral, so it wouldn't bind. So we got to keep it with, uh, with the spectrum here. And I didn't want to take this back to the beach. I have before, uh, but the Geico boat is bound to this. So it's going back to the beach. We'll have to be extra careful. It's, uh, it's old, but that's my best radio I have. This is, I've raced with this thing for years. I need to get with the times, but uh, it's not in the budget. Anyway, uh, no microphone again tonight because I was at work all day and I uh, didn't charge them last night before I went to bed. Another mistake. Anyway, turn your TV up so you can hear me. Uh, we bought a 15 turn while we were there, just in case uh, all this, just in case we damaged these speed controls. We were reverted back to the stock speed control. Well, this 15 turns, a little $20 motor. Um, Probably what it needs to be in the car anyways, just because of the situation I'm putting it in. But it's quite a bit faster than the torque tune motor that comes with the car. And uh, we picked up another pack of Paul Paul Deans. Uh, we had to have some of these. Uh, we don't have the, the male side. We have plenty of uh, battery side. Anyway, uh, appreciate y'all following along, uh, watching me struggle. Uh, maybe next week will be better. Uh, Next Wednesday's video most likely will be something beach related. I know uh, it's not a huge hit on my channel, but uh, that's what you're going to get next week. Uh, we threw a couple extra videos in this week. I just happened to, uh, we were trying something with the this versus that. Uh, if that is a success, a success, uh, we will continue to do that. I got one more of those in the can that I may post out next week. And, uh, the little walking around town video was just uh, something I did. Uh, just to, just to, like I said, this is Guru's world. It's not all RC. It's not all mini trucks. It's uh, it's my day to day life. It's body shop, RC stuff, and what you see is what you get. It's pretty much uh, my daily routine, regardless if I got a camera turned on. And uh, that's the basis of my channel. It's just a, uh, I'm doing it, so I might as well record it, and maybe somebody be interested. Uh, we're not a big budget channel we don't have the latest the greatest uh, but we have to get creative when we build sand cars out of on-road cars and we buy discontinued drag cars and we race it against monster trucks and we paint amazon beadlocks to try to be like the cool kids um so just uh come along we got more adventures in the books uh we got uh maybe some vlog stuff coming up this fall i got an idea for where i want to go back to my hometown and do a little vlog uh, anywho that's enough uh, chitter chatter for the night. Uh, appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. And all the new guys, I appreciate y'all coming along. New guys, gals, uh, people. I uh, appreciate every one of you. Uh, we are pushing towards that thousand. We got over 600 this week. Um, so I think we can do it. We got about four months. So let's uh, see if we can make it happen. Uh, see you next time, guys. Thanks.